judge. But the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. So, just back. What you need to understand, so this effort to get Biden to drop is not just about Biden. It's also about Harris. What can you be the judge? I'm sure y'all see that thumbnail. Um, you know, I'm going in, but I do want to say to my sisters, I, I got, I got much, much love and support for y'all. My sisters, sister girl. Now, I, now I also want to say I'm independent. I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Democrat. I once was a Democrat. So now I'm an independent. So get out the comments talking about I'm a Trump supporter. Definitely not at all. He's a white supremacist. We know that, but, um, yeah, this is a Democratic Party, so I, I got to really pay attention to them because there's no independent in the race, and I'm not definitely not voting for Trump, so I got to actually pay attention to see what's going on here. But um, this was four years ago when uh, George Floyd um, when George Floyd got murdered, and we lost a lot of black people during the times when black BLM was at its peak. Um, and she spoke about the conviction a long time ago, and you remember... He didn't even get first uh, degree murder off the dribble. They had to upgrade it. So she's speaking about this, but um, I, I'm just saying, based on the temperature, y'all, this is the prosecutor DA, my sisters, um, you know, the sister girl for y'all. So y'all got to hold her accountable. I can't, she ain't going to listen to me. I'm a black man. She definitely not going to listen to me. She going to listen to my sisters, though. Senator Harris, um, all four former officers involved in George Floyd's death have now been arrested and charged. Mm -hmm. uh, Derek Chauvin, the officer who held Mr. Floyd's, uh, who held his knee on mm -hmm. Mr. Floyd's neck for almost nine minutes, will be making his first court appearance today. Now that his charges have thankfully been upgraded to second degree murder and right. second degree manslaughter. Mm -hmm. um, but from 1999 to 2006, in that very same county, cops involved in more than two dozen officer-involved fatalities were not even criminally charged, um, we've learned. Yeah. Uh, the Hennepin County Medical Examiner's autopsy. Don't let that go over your head. Don't let that go over your head. They were not prosecuted. In this case, in Mr. Floyd's case, found no evidence that he was suffocated or was strangled. In my view, given that finding, is it isn't it possible that officers may not even be held accountable for Mr. Floyd's death? Well, um, as you and I know, as former prosecutors, the cause of death is, is, is often one of the main sources of evidence to prove murder. And um, in this case, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any question that he did not die of natural causes. Um, he died while this police officer who had been invested with a badge and a gun by the people used the power he was given by the people to have his neck, so bad, his man. knee on a human being's neck, um, not only for the almost nine minutes, but, but Sonny, also for two minutes and 38 seconds after George Floyd had b been basically motionless right two minutes and 38 seconds uh, that same week we watched the the spacex rocket blast and 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 watched and talked about let me stop sister girl here you don't go from talking about someone that just got murdered by a police officer someone that you represent and go to spacex i'm sorry y'all this just don't it don't sit right with me and this is not the she just doesn't have that spunk of a real sister, man, that's going to have black man's best interest in mind. And I'm a black man. So, like I said, my sisters, make sure that y'all make her do something for black men. Since y'all, it's the sister movement and y'all, y'all, you know, y'all got it going on, which I respect. But why y'all in there talking to her? Get her to do something for black men. Bring us up because, you know, we do belong in the house with the family. I mean, we don't, you know, we don't belong in jail and shit. But anyway, let me let me finish with this. Um, the importance of those two minutes to see if that rocket could actually enter space. The significance of two minutes and something seconds. I think that George Floyd was twenty two minutes and fifty three seconds. That rocket was two minutes and thirty eight seconds. So mm -hmm. I, you know, listen. There, the circumstances and she she was hoping somebody would back her on that. She was actually hoping. But hey, how can you equate the two? 
Um, and the evidence surrounding George Floyd's death, I think, s without any question, support the charges against him. But it will not be easy to get a conviction <coughs> because. I'm going to play that again for y'all. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? She had already planted the seed. Now, for Sonya Massey, this better not happen. It better not. <sighs> support the charges against him but it will not be easy to get a conviction <coughs> because it is still the case that yeah. jurors are inclined to 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 trust because that's part of the social contract to trust police officers and um, and and that has been part of the difficulty that so many prosecutors have had when they brought these cases but there's no denying that this this officer and those who were his accomplices right. um, should pay a, a real consequence and accountability for what they've done. Right. Okay. So now after all that was said and done, and like I said, I, I support those who support us black Americans. So this was, uh, four years ago as well. And, um, you know, y'all got to remember she was running for president and, um, yeah, this is what happened campaign and an aide sent a resignation letter saying this is my third presidential campaign I've never seen an organization treat its staff so poorly um, I that think she treated her staff uh, poorly? apparently according to this sta uh, top aide that worked on her campaign and that, that there were leadership problems my biggest issue was her I didn't think that she connected to voters as well as she could have that moment I brought this up yesterday that moment in the debate where she went after Joe Biden um, uh, yeah. She thought that was her big moment, and a lot of the media talked about that as being a big moment for her. I thought that just totally fell flat. And if anything, it did the opposite of what she was hoping it would well, do. Well, it did, eventually, yeah. Ultimately. It didn't help her. I I'm not surprised at all by this, frankly. If you're not winning your home state, you, you probably shouldn't be winning for president. Whoa, that was kind of deep. And, and, you know, like I said, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, you know, because, like I said, it's a movement. It's a movement for my sisters. It's an opportunity for my sister to have some, but I want to see y'all have some. I don't want to see y'all falling for this shit. Well, y'all get all this, uh, you know, y'all hoopling and hollering and y'all doing the sister girl thing. And in the end, you still worried about health care. You still worried about opening a business. You still worried about putting food in your refrigerator. You know, you still worried about your debt. You still, you. I'm just saying with her in there now, y'all, y'all better get some. Cause I already know I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. I know I don't have anything coming from uh, her as far as a black man. I know this for a fact, y'all. So anyway, let me get back to this. So this right here is also from the View. So you got it. Her and the View, they they've been going back and forth. If you think over the years, but um, yeah, this is four years ago, and this is the uh, what she had to say about her when she was about to you know, run and be Joe Biden's running mate. But uh, check this out. Um, mm -hmm. Joe Biden has already committed to choosing a female running mate. Uh, mm -hmm. Given the current climate, it occurs to me that Biden must also choose a black woman as his running mate to energize the base, to show his commitment to the community, someone who is representative of the community affected and protesting in large part because of the issues. Uh, do you agree with that? I want Joe Biden oh, to make yes a or decision. No, we're out of time. I okay. <laughs> it's not that simple. I just want him to win. <laughs> okay, y'all. So back to this thumbnail. So like I said, I don't want Trump to win. And a lot of people are, are concerned and worried about their vote. This, you know, someone told me that if you don't want to vote for the president, him or her, um, you can actually write in who you want to vote for. Either you can sit on the couch or you can just write in who you want to vote for. You don't have to give your vote to either one of them. I don't know why people are trying to uh, pander to us and, oh, we need to vote for this woman. No, you need to vote for policy. Okay? My sisters. Sister girl's in there. Y'all got an opportunity to get close to her because y'all sisters. So she's going to listen to y'all. To all my sisters out there, she's going to listen to y'all. So if you care about the black man, get her to do something. We need a hate crime bill. Okay? We need black contractors. We need all this development. We need specific schools for black people. We need an economy base for black people. We need reparations. 
And that's another thing. What is she going to say about reparations? Oh, well, we already know that. So this is what I'm talking about being a black man um, trying to navigate through this politics. And when people get in there, they don't have our best interests in mind. Look at this dude right here. Uh, this guy right here. He don't have nobody black best interest in his mind. <sighs> Barbara Lee. What have you done for black people? They got all these activists, all these people that they say were activists that that walked in, in Selma and did all this stuff. What are y'all doing now? You know, it's all photo ops for y'all. It's all what y'all did. What have you done for me lately? Remember that saying, y'all? They talk about all this stuff. What have y'all done for me lately? Why don't y'all say that? Okay. They talk about all these people that they put in high places and, and did major stuff for black people. What have you done for me lately? You know what? That's what this election is for me. What have you done for me lately? So when I think about the Republicans, what have you? Nothing. When I think about the Democrats, nothing. Liberals, nothing. Independent, you get to choose. You know, and you get to vote on policy. I'm not voting on a person, man, woman. I ain't voting on none of that shit. They're black, purple, I don't care. If you got the right policy in mind for black Americans, I'm voting for you. I don't care if you're Asian. I don't care what culture you come from. If you got black people's best interests in mind, I'm voting for you. If a policy is in there like a black hate crime bill or somebody talking reparations, they talking about, you know, just clearing our debt, giving us tax exempt for so many. I mean, however it go, they should just start us off with zero debt, too. That should be in there. No debt. None of that. Nothing. Pay everything off. If you owe on a house, pay that shit off. Reparation. If you owe, if you got a house, they should pay it off. But anyway, man, I, I'm gone. I just, you be the judge. I just, I'm not. Not okay, so I just put it out there. And you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content. Hey. So don't hate on mine. All right, y'all. Ooh.